In this demonstration, I'll show you how to use the mean value theorem in calculus. The mean value theorem states that for a function continuous over the closed intervals a, b, and differentiable over the open intervals a and b, there exists a value n where f prime at n is equal to the average derivative over the interval, defined here. In physics context, this says that there will be a time when the instantaneous velocity, for example, is equal to the average velocity. Here's an example. Verify that f at x is equal to x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 satisfies the properties of the MVT on 0 through 2, and then find all numbers c that satisfy the conclusions of MVT. Now, given f at x is a polynomial, it is continuous and differentiable everywhere, including this interval. So let's start off by writing out f prime at, and let's use c instead of n as defined originally, f at b minus f at a, b minus a. Now keep in mind that your first interval here will be a, and this will be b. And also, it would be nice to find the derivative of this function since we will need, need it for this part. So f prime at x is equal to 3x squared plus 1 minus 0. And I use the power rule for these two terms. This simplifies to 3x squared plus 1. And what I'll do is apply c for my x. So f prime at c is equal to 3 c squared plus 1. I'll place that right here. 3c squared plus 1 is equal to f at b. Let's find out what that is. f at b is equal to 2 to the power of 3, which is 8 plus 2 minus 1. 8 plus 2 minus 1 is equal to 9. Wonderful. And also, f at a, 0 plus 0 minus 1 is equal to negative 1. So that said, we will place 9 here, minus negative 1, b is 2, minus 0, and let's solve for c. Simplifying the right side gives us 10 over 2, which is 5. And 3c squared plus 1 is equal to 5 gives us a c value of 5 minus 1 is equal to 4, 3c, 4 over 3c squared. And we square root both sides to give us c is equal to the square root of 4 over 3 and negative square root of 4 over 3. Now, keep in mind your intervals. Your intervals stretched from 0 to 2. Since this is outside of 0 and 2, you cannot include that as your c-value. This is your only valid c-value. So there you have it. That is how to use the mean value theorem in calculus. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.